Okay, the molecule that we're going to be talking about today is thalidomide. And one isomer is effective against morning sickness, and the other one is uh, can cause birth defects. So uh, we have one of the isomers right in front of us here. So it's your job to decide whether you want to use this on a patient or not. So be careful about the uh, uh, chiral center. So, yep, make up your mind. So it looks like it's going back because of this oxygen. So I'm assuming no. Everyone, if you think the molecules is the is the one on the left, uh, you can stand over here. Mm -hmm. And if you think the molecule is the one on the right side, you can sit on, uh, stand on the right side. So uh, pick sides and make up your mind. Uh, if it's going right. Yeah, I'd better be on the side. Okay. okay. The left one is over here? Yeah. Okay. I think it's the left one. Hey everyone, so the answer is the one on the right side. It's the S enantiomer that causes birth defects. And let's pay attention to this uh, chiral carbon there. So that carbon is this carbon here. And to make a direct comparison, let me mm -hmm. move this over to the PDF and kind of shrink it down. Uh, now you can see it, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So direct comparison, that carbon is that carbon there. Let me drag it out, make it a bit larger. So as you can see, the nitrogen is sticking backwards and the hydrogen is sticking outwards. So this is the S-enantiomer.